Hey, Steve. How you doing? Good evening, and welcome to the Wednesday evening Bible study for the 61st and the Vision Street Church of Christ. We're so thankful that you joined us this evening in our Bible study. We want to thank you for uh, being consistent in your studies. We pray that we will say something this evening that will give you strength as we continue our march to the city that is called heaven. You know, as we make our journey to the heaven, we're going to have bumpy roads, pitfalls, and things like that, but there's still hope. And so tonight we want to continue our study in what we call hope for the journey. Hope for the journey, taken from Hebrews chapter 11, verses number one. But before we do go into our lesson, let us go to God in a word of prayer. Will you pray with me, please? Holy Father in heaven, the God of whom we live, we move, and we have our very being, how great is thy most high and holy name, how majestic is thy throne of grace. We're so thankful, that Father, that we can have access by faith unto thy blessed throne of mercy. We come this evening, dear Father, praying for those who will be listening. 
We pray that you will open up their hearts that they might be receptive to thy holy words of truth. Pray, dear Father, that the things that we'll speak about today, but we may apply it to our everyday walk of life. Father, we have so many among us that are sick and afflicted. We're just so thankful that you are our healer, so thankful that you are a way maker, you the light in the darkness. We come before that throne of grace asking that you will look down upon those that are sick, especially those that are the household of faith, that you will touch them with that healing hands and raise them up from their beds of affliction, praying for many that are among us that have lost loved ones. We pray, Father, that those families might find comfort and consolation through that most high and holy word. We pray that they will lean on thy everlasting arm and continue to hold on to thy unchanging hands. Father, be with us that we proclaim thy words of truth. We pray that we might lift up Jesus, for he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Guide us and direct us, for this we do ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Everybody ought to hold to his hand. Hold on to my God's unchanging hand. Everybody ought to hold to his hand. To God's unchanging hand. And we can build, build up hopes on things eternal. That's the reason we should hold Hold to God's unchanging hand. You know that time, time is filled with swift transition. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, 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 no. A move can stand. Oh, and we ought to build, build our hopes on things eternal. No, that's the reason we should hold, hold to God's unchanging hand. Everybody ought to hold, hold to his hand. Hold on to my God's unchanging hand. Everybody ought to hold, hold to his hand, to God's unchanging hand. And we can build, build our hope. Some things eternal. That's the reason we should hold, hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Amen. We still in our study talking about hope for the journey because life had its ups and downs. And on last week, we, we talked to you about uh, of, of having hope uh, be dependent upon that hope and that our dependence is based upon the promises of God. God has never gone back on a promise. And if he promised it, we can rest assured that he is able to bring it to pass. And uh, uh, we also realize that hope is taking is by is having faith and trusting God and taking God at His word. We got to continue to take God at His word and hope in God, and trust in God, and faith in God, and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge Him. And so 